in order for your mix to even have a chance of sounding halfway decent on the ridiculous amount of systems there are out there, cars, phones, to, for your mix to hold the insane abuse that people will do to your track. Because here's the truth. People are going to listen to your music in the shittiest phone, earbuds, speakers, Bluetooth, full volume, completely distorted, and you can't do anything about it. But you know what? Your song has to hold no matter how much abuse it receives out there. You know why? Because professional mixes do. So if you, ha if you want to have a slight chance of competing, your mix better do the same. In order for you to do that, first of all, you need to have a monitoring system that reproduces everything that is audible to the human ear, 20 to 20K, all right? Why you would need more than eight inches let me explain you why. And I'm just going to explain you like the, the tip of the iceberg, okay? If you can't hear your low end, you have two choices because you can't hear it, right? You can't mix what you can't hear. One, you're going to cut it all. So your mix is going to sound thin and weak and shitty compared to any other mix that actually has a controlled, well-sounding and well-mixed low end, right? in those famous playlists when one song plays after the other, your song is going to sound like shit. Two, the other option is you can't hear it, so you're either looking at a analyzer or you're just guessing, which I, I, I please try and do and see how it goes. Right? And in that case, every single time, and you talk about last time you checked, cars don't have bigger speakers bigger than eight inches. Guess what? Most cars have a sub. And if you put out a song that has uncontrolled low end, that is the number one signature sound of a shitty mix engineer. Your low end is out of control. You put it in a car with a sub, you don't hear anything. You just hear the sub. How nice was that? So the point is this. In order for you to deliver a song that has a slight chance to sound good on as many speaker, as many speaker systems as possible, you need a monitoring system that is full range, as accurate as possible on all ranges, top, mid, low, low end, free of distortion. That's another thing that people don't understand why we have gigantic speakers. It's not because we mix at super high levels. It's because they need, it needs to be free of distortion. And until you mix with a pair of professional speakers, you don't understand the importance of that. So. Here's just the tip of the iceberg as to why you need big speakers or speakers bigger than eight inches. And the other thing, other than the fact that, just like I said, the distortion problem, is that if you don't have and you can't hear a full spectrum, you will never have a balanced mix. Because if, you're, if your monitors don't reproduce a certain range or reproduce a certain range with like, 10 dB lower than another range, do you realize that you mix what it sounds good on your speakers, like everybody does, and it's gonna sound unbalanced? Because if you have too much low end, you're gonna tend, you're gonna tend to cut it, and your mix is gonna sound thin. If you have little low end, so eight inches and below, you're gonna have to, a Lamborghini will take you to the grocery store just as well as a Toyota Yaris. It's it's just a matter of what you want for your music, how much you care. Hands on my neck, hands get my throat, throat. Lift me up, up, man, take control, up. Heart is so gone, my type. Don't you know I fall for the bad type? You play the role of an angel pretty well, but I can't say you can't.